George Field was the founder of Max Torque. His first company was all called George Fields and Associates. George in the 1920s was providing a fluid drive clutch system for washing machines. Washing machines were the first use of clutches that George made. This clutch, if you look at it, looks like a torque converter system on a car. Automatic cars didn't come out to the late 1940s. This was around in the early 1930s, used on washing machines. It was also used on his mini bike that he designed in 1942, but it didn't, it was called just a little trike. He used the wheels off of his ch children's wagon and built this mini bike for use because gasoline in the 1940s was being rationed because of World War II. During World War II, he was contact, contacted by the U.S. Army to build a special vehicle under scrutiny that it would not be divulged and talked about at all. George ended up building 50 of these little bikes that were used in a parachute drop at Wright-Patterson Field in Ohio. They were dropped by paratroopers. The steering column was a 30 caliber machine gun. The vehicle had to weigh less than 90 pounds. The vehicle and the machine gun did do this. Cushman at the same time was trying to compete to make this small vehicle that the Army wanted. Cushman couldn't get the weight down, so theirs required a separate parachute. Like anything in the service, when you drop it out of a plane, one goes that way and one goes this way, and they have to be together to function for what they wanted them for. They wanted them for the paratroopers on D-Day so they would be able to get to their destination, capture the bridge to keep the Germans from coming to stop the invasion. Unfortunately, after Wright-Patterson Field drop, they wanted some modifications done on the vehicle. D-Day came and went. They were never used in D-Day. After the war was over, George had these 50 vehicles, but there was only 48. He built 50. He put them up for sale. Beam Manufacturing in Webster City, Iowa bought them. When they came to pick them up, they said, hey, you said there was 50. He said, no, I said, I built 50. Two of them were kept by the gentleman that dropped him from the plane. He wanted him for a staff vehicle because when he had landed his bomber, it would be on this side of the field and he wanted to get to that side of the field and the staff car couldn't get across to him because of all the traffic. So he said, put the steering column back on it, take the 50 cal or a 30 caliber machine gun off of it. I certainly don't need it here in the States. And this would be an ideal vehicle for me to get around with. So beam manufacturers said, hey, we don't want to start manufacturing these things in 1946 when they were starting to build them. They built them 46, 47, and 48. They built 40,000 of these. They said, we don't want to start building these vehicles if some gentleman from the service is going to start them in his own garage. He said, well, this guy is not going to quit his day job to start building. He said, well, that's easy for you to say. And he said, well, Jimmy Doolittle has better things to do than start building mini bikes. <laughs> so that is part of the story on how the Doodlebug got its name. Because as they were driving back from Illinois to Iowa, they were thinking, what will we call this vehicle? Well, you got Doolittle, who was a World War II hero for 30 seconds over Tokyo. And you got uh, a small vehicle, Doolittle, Doodlebug. They put them together, came out with that name and that's how it got it. So like I said, 40,000 of these were built between 1946 and 1948. They used a clutch by Max Torque. They also used one that V-Plex. Max Torque couldn't keep up with it. Well, it wasn't called Max Torque at that time. It was called George Fields and Associates. Couldn't keep up with the demand for this clutch. So they used V-Plex on it also. A V-Plex clutch was, at that time, it was out of Ohio. Uh, V-Plex is no longer in business. Max Torque has uh, 
been able to survive over the years. It was founded in 1957. The name changed from George Fields and Associates to Max Torque. It changed because of the introduction in 1956 of the uh, go-karts. When go-karts were first introduced uh, out in California at the Rose Bowl, there was just an instant demand for these things. One is that if the war was over, a lot of pent-up uh, drivers that couldn't get a vehicle. I mean, car production was slow, and the, the little mini biker, at that time the doodlebug, uh, was a nice mode of transportation. A lot of people own these doodlebugs. Every year they have a reunion in Webster City in September, and I've been going to that for the last 10 years, and it's, it's just an enjoyment. People, I've had people from 38 states represented at this reunion. It's a great gathering of vintage people that have a great hobby. And it was a uh, one and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton was the original one. One and a half horsepower, and they also had Tecumseh engines on them. Uh, the later versions had Tum Tecumseh. Uh, like you said, it was a little Hiawatha. It was, it was depending on what store was selling them. They, they had two name brands that they went by. Gambles had called theirs a little Hiawatha. The, the price, $119. That's a lot of money in the forest. Oh, yeah, it, it was. That was several weeks paycheck. Oh, yeah. Because I can remember in 63, my first job, I was on top of the hill because I was living at home. My, <laughs> my parents' car, and I was making $50 a week, a buck and a quarter an hour. And I thought, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> and it sure didn't. They were all V-belt clutches. They weren't any sprocket clutches. It was all V-belt. And uh, you can see the V-belt on this one. Anytime you're using a V-belt on such a small pulley, it should always be an AX or a BX. The X stands for it's cogged underneath, like a torque converter belt. They're always cogged. Turning a tight radius like this, you need a cogged belt to turn the tight radius. They didn't have them in 46, 47, 48. When I see the, the gentleman today at the the gathering for the vintage, I'll always tell them, switch the belt, you'll get much better grab on your pulleys with the BX, and it is a B, they use a B belt, which is the wider of the two. A belt is a half inch, the, uh, the B belt or 5L is uh, 5 eighths of an inch in width at the top of the V. Huge thanks to Max Torque Clutches for allowing us to come in their facility and film, and also a huge thanks to Go Power Sports for hooking the whole adventure up. Make sure to check the links in the video's description where you can find yourself a Max Torque Clutch. They're high quality and American made, and it's nice to be able to support an American-ran company. Thank you guys for watching. We love you, and God bless.